Okay, welcome back. We're here with Jake DeLome. Got the baby bags on. We got the veggies on, button mushrooms. We got some beautiful asparagus. And I can smell the, the love coming off of that grill. You smell that, Jake? That's a good, I, the love. I love Oh, no, it's that. all, my dad. I, my dad was all, he said, man, Mr. Ray, how come you cook so good? He said, you got to love the food, baby. That's it's, exactly it's, right. It's, I know I love to eat it. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, well, I wanted to briefly talk about this. There's a lot of products out there. Uh, what this is, it's a pre-made little container with uh, applewood shavings. You can get cherry wood, mesquite, hickory. And what's great about it, you, when you pull this out, when you have a gas grill, you're really not gonna get a whole lot of smoky flavor. If you really want some smoky flavor, these are great. You just peel them off. We have one in there we put while we're off camera. You'll see it in a second. But Jake, let's go over there and take a look at them ribs. Let's go check it out. So we, uh, as you can see, we have the little, we're getting the little applewood smoke flavor, which I will say gives a, uh, gives a really nice, really nice kind of topping, I guess you could say. Oh, yeah. It just kind of just adds a, a little it's something It's a layer to it. of flavor. Right. The seasoning, the rub, the sauces, and then the smoke. It's like a, we're building a, a flavor palette. Well, I'll tell you what, it's uh, my, my flavor palette's on, <laughs> I'm, I'm reaching my, my level right now. But okay. we, no, we, uh, as, as we said earlier, after 45 minutes, we'll check the ribs. Well, we did that. It's a little warm, obviously. So the ribs, as you can see, Ooh, look are, at that. Um, they, they kind of look pretty good. And you can see how the meat is pulled away, about a yeah. half inch. And I'm feeling in between the bone. It's pretty tender, Jake. And uh, so we did baste it once. We're going to baste it one more time. And so we're a little past an hour right now. And we're just going to lightly, you know, lightly kind of baste the top. I'm not going to do the, uh, the bottom side. We're just going to baste the top. And that's another thing, talking about the, the sauces. And I know right now we're using Russell's. It's a local guy. Love the guy. Love his story. Great rib sauce, but man, we, we're blessed to live in a, in a part of the country or the world where people ask me all the time, where, where do you get your meat? I say, wherever is closest to my house or wherever I'm closest to at that point. Uh, same thing with sauces. I mean, we got some pretty noteworthy people. We got uncles, locally made, Jack Miller's, of course. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna offend somebody by not mentioning, but there's a lot of good sauces and rubs out there. And uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna put my double wrap back on because like I said earlier, I made one mistake one time, I was a little paranoid. But the ribs are pretty much done. That's why we moved them up on top. Okay. And uh, we have our, our, our hot plate, I guess you could say. And I, my mushrooms are just about done. The mushrooms are just about done. We still got a little bit left with the uh, asparagus. Certainly they're cooked. Um, and I know Keith likes them with a little more crunch. A little bit texture, but and, that's uh, good. And I like, I like to really get them wilted. So um, as you can see, it's, um, we're ready to go. It's almost game time. Okay, it's so, almost game time. So, so we were talking off camera about our, our kids and how fortunate we were that they liked healthy food. Right. And you were telling me that your kids really dig veggies. I mean, they do. Besides asparagus and mushrooms, I mean, what other kind of fun veggies? I mean, do y'all do zucchini and squash? We do squash and zucchini a great deal. Uh, that's one thing that we're like, we, we do a great deal of that, squash and zucchini. Uh, we, we do the broccolis and we, um, we're, very, we're very lucky. They, they, like, they like steaks too though? Steaks, steaks. Like they're like mom and dad. They, they kind of like a little bit. Of, they, they like everything. We don't we don't discriminate at our house. But you see, this to me, this is ideal for my asparagus. I love to have just that, that, that little hint, bit of caramelization that, on just, it. Just that hint, and it's uh, it's about time to come off and get ready to eat my mushrooms. Okay, there. They're looking good. Now we're gonna be putting this recipe of yours on our website. So people, when they wanna see precisely, I wanna cook my ribs like Jake DeLone. We, you, they'll be able to go on our website and check it out. You don't have a problem with that, right? I don't you have know, a problem not whatsoever. Not an ancient family secret. No, I can't like say. This is something that was uh, kind of trial by fire because <laughs> my dad was the, the old school, the, the charcoal way, and right. uh, I kind of, you know, learn, you know, using the gas grill. Because you love to grill. Because I enjoy grilling. That I was something you. that I enjoyed doing. And that's the thing about people in southern Louisiana. Uh, I go around the country all the time and they look at me and they say, man, you have a passion. I mean, when you start talking about grilling, your hands start flying everywhere. I said, you think I'm bad? I said, you just walk down anybody's backyard in southern Louisiana. They all, men love to grill. But it's not just a man thing. We were talking about Carrie likes to grill. Right. And we get a lot of people in shopping in the store. Women, I think love gas grills because it's more like an appliance, even though men like it too. You and me, we're men, you know. Uh, and charcoal is kind of a more of a manly thing. The women don't mind tending the food on a charcoal grill, but they're not gonna start it, get their hands all, they don't mess with all that. But gas grilling is basically for the whole family. 
Oh, there's do you, no doubt. Do your kids help you out sometimes? The kids do help out. Uh, they help out in the eating portion. I will say that. But no, certainly I have my, I have a 10 year old who she's kind of into the preparation of the food and wants to help and season and things like that. And and to me, that's the great thing about it. I'll let her try something. You right. know, if there's a certain spice that she likes and she enjoys, you try it out. I mean, yeah. let, let's try it. I mean, that's that's what we're about. It's we're like experiment. painting a portrait. That's exactly. Everybody has their own way of doing it. You got magenta. You got some lavender. You got red and black. You know, you got all these different things. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and throw it to break. And then when we come back, we're gonna have the ribs on a plate. We're gonna have the vegetables on a plate. And I get to taste. Jig Delone's famous baby back ribs. So stick around.